Okay, now, here's where we are with our curriculum. Everything from here on out that I teach you is going to be on the ECA and heavy on the ECA, all right? We're getting ready to start uh, chapter six. We're going to go basically take this through Christmas, all right? We'll take uh, two weeks to review before, uh, before we do the exam, but for the next couple weeks, this is what we're doing. Now, you already kind of know a lot of what you need to know for today. For example, do number 18. Now, I'm not going to give you a whole lot of time to, to do these, okay? So make sure, make sure you're sticking with me today and then we're clicking right along, all right? Everybody should know, if A is equal to 12, that means I need to come down here and substitute 12 in for A, all right? If B is 9, I need to come down here and substitute 9 in for B. And over here, C equals 4, so I need to substitute 4 in for C. And honestly, this, this is what I'm concerned about, okay? If you can tell me that the answer is 168, that's awesome. But this is what I'm concerned about today. Substituting the numbers in for the variable that they replace. <coughs> Next thing, solve number 22. Now, I'm not a big fan of this phrase, cross the line, change the sign, okay? But it's pretty applicable here. We need to combine our A's, but I, I don't need to take it across the line. I just need to combine them, so I'm not changing any signs. Negative 4A, negative 2A is going to be a negative 6A, all right? And as I'm combining these right here, positive 5, negative 9, this is going to be a negative 4 is equal to 44. So make sure that you have this line somewhere. Negative 6a minus 4 equals 44. From here, we're going to add 4 to both sides. Negative 6a equals 48. Divide by negative 6. a is equal to negative 8. All right? a equals negative 8. The last step that we have to be able to do today is the distributive property. Do number 13. Distributive property, negative 18v plus 6 is equal to negative 10v <coughs> minus 10. Letters to the left, numbers to the right. This is going to be a negative 8v is equal to negative 16. Divide by negative 8, v is equal to positive 2. All right? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put all of that stuff together today and take a step up. 
we're going to do, we're going to start solving systems of equations, all right? So right here, I have two different equations, and what I'm trying to find is the solution, the x and the y, that will make both this true and this true, all right? I've got to solve them both at the same time. Now, as you're looking at this, this equation is different than any equation we've ever solved, all right? The reason is there's two variables in here. Now, if I told you that y was equal to 5 and x was equal to 8, and I asked you to solve this, you'd be like, no problem. y is equal to 5, so I'm going to come down, cross out y, and write a 5. x is equal to 8, so I'm going to cross out 8, or x, and write an 8, right? Okay, so let me back up one more time, okay? Make sure you don't miss this. If I told you y was equal to 5, you would simply come down here, erase your y, and write a 5, right? Let me, don't miss, I want to say this one more time. If I told you y was equal to 5, you'd come down here, erase your y, and write your 5, right? Now, raise your hand if right now you'd like, get on with it, I get that, that's so easy. Perfect, you're right where I want you. Okay, so now, instead of me telling you y is equal to 5, what I'm going to tell you is y is equal to 6x minus 11. Let's take a step back. When I told you y was equal to 5, you came down, you erased the y, and you wrote a 5. So this time, when I tell you y is equal to 6x minus 11, you need to come down, erase your y, and write 6x minus 11. 11. All right? You need to substitute this in for y down here. Now, let's solve this. This is going to be negative 2x. This is the distributed property. Negative 3 times 6x is negative 18x. Negative 3 times negative 11 is a positive 33 is equal to negative 7. So, is everybody okay with how I substituted this in for y? And then how I took this distributed property to right here. Okay, now let's simplify this. Negative 2x, negative 18x, this is going to be negative 20x, plus 33 is equal to negative 7. All right? Now we can solve this from here. All right? No problem, Lacey. What's my first step in solving this? Subtract Perfect. Subtract 33 from both sides. So over here I've got negative 20x is equal to negative 40. And Erica, how do I get rid of this negative 20? Divided by negative 20, x is equal to positive 2. Now, I'm not done yet. Let's look back at these original equations. Because I've solved for x, but I still need to know what y is. All right? Now, think back five minutes ago when you said you were tired of hearing this. If I told you that x was equal to 2 and I told you to solve this, you would simply take 2 and put it in for x. And let's figure out what y. Lorena, what's 6 times 2 minus 11? 12 minus 11 is... 1. So we've got y is equal to 1. So my x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, and I'm going to write this as an ordered pair. My x goes first, my y comes second. All right? Let's look at number 2. I want you to write this equation on your whiteboard. Write it just like that, but kind of spread it out. 2x minus 3y is equal to 1. Now, the next step, down here, this second equation tells you y is equal to x minus 1. So go back into that first equation. Erase your y and write x minus 1. And then solve it. Use the distributive property and solve it.
some of the new markers with the angle tips, you might need to push them a little bit harder to get them to, to work a little bit if they're not right now. Okay, let's check our first lines here. This is going to be 2x minus negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3 is equal to negative 1. So this is your second line. 2x minus 3x plus 3 equals negative 1. Simplify this. 2x minus 3x. This is negative 1x plus 3 equals negative 1. Next step, subtract your 3 from both sides. Negative 1x is equal to negative 4. Divide by negative 1, x is equal to positive 4. All right? Next step, we're not done. We need to come back up here to these original equations and put 4 in for x. So I'm going to come back up. You're going to erase your full x, and you're going to substitute in 4. Kenzie, 4 minus 1? 3. 3. So y is equal to 3. So my answer, my x is 4. My y is 3. Try this one, number three. We've got x is equal to this. So down here, you're going to erase your y, and you're going to substitute this for y right there. Right, let's check second lines here, okay? We've got 5x minus 4 times negative 3x plus 5 is equal to negative 3. So 5x, negative 4 times negative 3 is going to be a positive 12x. Negative 4 times 5 is a negative 20 equals negative 3. So this should be your second line right here. Next step, simplify this. 5x and 12x is going to be 17x minus 20 is equal to negative 3. Next step, add 20 to both sides. 17x is equal to 17. Divided by 17, x is equal to 1. So now, I need to substitute 1 in for x back in one of these equations. I'll use the top one. I'll put 1 in for x up here. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 5 is going to be a positive 2. So my answer is 1, 2. Okay. Now, I want to show you one more. Let's look at number 7. Now, these are tricky problems, all right? When I was in high school, I had trouble with them. Year in, year out, students in my class have trouble with them, but they're really easy if we can just see it, okay? Y is equal to 4x minus 1. 
So I want to take 4x minus 1 and substitute it in for y in this second problem. So all I have to do is bring this and put it right there. Erase your y. It's completely gone. And write 4x minus 1. All right? Now, what do I do from here? Chloe. Um, you just, like, add them to the Yeah. Letters left, numbers right. So I've got 2x is equal to negative 4. Christina, what's my next step to solving this? Divide it by 2. Divide it by 2. x is equal to negative 2. What's my next step, Tyler? Very good. I need to come back to one of these equations. x is negative 2. So come up, erase an x, and write a negative 2. And, uh, Tucker, help me out. 4 times negative 2 is? Negative. Minus 1 is? Uh, negative 9. Negative 9. Very good. So my x is negative 2. My y is negative 9. Okay? Now, I know we went through this really, really fast. Um, we will continue to work on this. We'll do this same, same stuff tomorrow, and we will continue to review as we go through. Some of you already have this from this morning.